The next film that I saw was The Day Iceland Stood Still. Directed by Pamela Hogan, The Day Iceland Stood Still paints a really vibrant portrait of the historic day in 1975 that 90% of the women in Iceland took a day off or went on strike from their work, whether it was in the workplace or in their household, um, like domestic labor or emotional labor, to show basically how important their contributions to society were and to advocate for pay equality because women made very little money um, for their work at the time, especially when you consider how much their male counterparts were making. So the doc is a combination of archival photos and videos, interviews with women who were there at the time and helped organize it, and these really, really beautifully animated kind of dramatizations of what's happening or like interpretations of things that are being said, which makes it a really dynamic film. And it paints a really vivid picture of what life was like in the years leading up to the day off. I really enjoyed that. And just like the women of the Red Stockings, which is the feminist group that organized the strike, this film finds a lot of power in its use of humor as a critical and storytelling tool. There were so many parts that honestly had the entire theater laughing, which is always just a really wonderful experience. And I haven't watched a lot of like lighthearted and humorous docs at the festival this year. So it was really nice to see one that like, while it was really critical of a lot of misogyny, there was also like a lightness to it and a lot of like female friendships coming into play. And um, yeah, I thought that was really nice. And the QA was also really interesting. I didn't know much about Iceland going into this, but it turns out that it's actually one of the countries that is the closest to eliminating the wage gap and that the Icelandic government requires every year that companies prove that they're paying men and women equally. And you can get pretty heavily fined, uh, apparently, if you aren't. <laughs> and they also have maternity and paternity leave. Literally, the audience was like drooling when they found that out. They were like, what is Iceland's secret sauce? And I don't think that, you know, one documentary can answer that question. But this one did a pretty good job of painting how, how people worked together that day to make such like a historic event happen. Um, something that was interesting also during the Q&A was someone asked why the film doesn't feature any interviews with women who opposed the strike. Because it seems shocking now, but there actually were women at the time who thought it was a bad idea. But interestingly, it was pretty much impossible to find anyone to interview about that, like about the opposing perspective. The creation of the film was already kind of a race against the clock to interview the like known living members of the Red Stockings who helped organize the strike. But what made it even more difficult to find people who opposed it was that, according to the directors, it's probably just that they don't really remember because like kind of as you age like a little bit of selective memory a little bit of history as you remember it so it probably just wouldn't stick out to them that much or maybe they just don't want to come forward about views that might have changed kind of with the times you know like maybe there's just kind of some shame involved but I also just think that like where do you even go about looking for those people so it was interesting to kind of think about it like that so anyways if you want to see a feminist yet pretty light-hearted and um, uplifting documentary, then I would totally recommend The Day That Iceland Stood Still. Great film.